Hi and welcome to Christy's Beautiful Life 30 Days of Sketches Round 9. If you will notice, my layout is in process. I was just scrapping away and I thought video recording it and all of a sudden my camera goes off and I look up and it says cannot access card. Get another card or I don't know, something about checking that one or something. I I don't know. <laughs> and I went and put it in the laptop. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. So I did get another card. And I'm trying this again from where I'm at. Because, yeah, this is what I've got. <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead and tell you what I did. And then go from there. These both are Craft Consortium. This one's the wood textures and this one's the metal textures and you missed this part. This is the photo. Well, I started to do my layout with just these two photos and I got to looking at it and thinking that, well, I was going to use a different top piece here, but I got to thinking about the same day I took photos of them at the cave. And that if I pulled out the metallic metal textures, is what it's called, that it would probably go with the rocks in the cave, which it does. Great. <laughs> and I first tried to use this photo. Yeah, which would have been great if I could figure out how to fill in all this other part. And I started to use my Creative Memory Circle Cutter, the large one. It was too big. And the other one, too small. So I used my Martha Stewart Soaker Cutter, the outside of it with a pencil and a pair of scissors, and got this size. But I didn't want to make it so small that, you know, I wanted it bigger. So this was not working, and I cannot tell you what size this is because all I did was screenshot the photo and put it in, you know, that snippet thing and hit print. And it printed whatever it was it wanted to print it. I didn't measure it. But I put foam underneath here to bring it up. And I've already did this. And I put it on black cardstock. And then I did the edges here with that Tim Holtz film strip. And I also cut out lots of greenery. I am not going to use it all. I know I'm not. But I thought as long as I was cutting, <laughs> I might as well keep cutting. And I inked. And I also used this one right here. And for the title, I used this and words off of here. So my title is going to be Discover Adventure at Big Spring. And this is diamond press uh, outline and of course this is Tim Holtz and I'm not sure what the name of it is it's either adventure or travel one or the other but it is discontinued and I could not find it the other day and this is craft consortium also and I cut it kind of wavy to go on here and yeah, that's where my title's going to go. But, yeah, I am so sorry. I do not know what's wrong with that card. I, I don't know. I'm not going to try using it again, though. <laughs> it is gone. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, from, hopefully, I said enough about this. You can figure out what I did. But, oh, and this is the sketch that I made. Today's layout is the sketch that I made. I forgot to tell you all that part. But on with the layout. Again, I am so sorry that we're starting in the middle of the layout. I used a scrap of the Craft Consortium paper for my sign here. Part of it's going to be behind the film strip. So I'm putting everything over to the left. But I decided to go ahead and have it go all the way across. I started to put the word Big Spring on there. 
and noticed I did not have any eyes. And I thought, I could have sworn I made them. I think I did, considering I find one in a minute <laughs> and lay it over in the tray. I'm pretty sure there's another one somewhere, but I did stop and make two more. The um, paper for the craft consortium is, it's not really thin, not near as thin as some, but because I was going to have it go over the top of that empty space on the circle, and it is, you know, like a shadow box, I had that foam tape in there, and I went ahead and put a piece of craft paper underneath it. It's not really, well, it's supposed to be cardstock. It's very sturdy. It's just not very thick, but it added enough that it could set up there better. And I put foam tape under the edge of that one film strip, too. I did that when I did the film strip, but I wanted to put the sign on before I continued on. And um, the the pictures are of the, my grandkids. I'd taken them to Big Springs one of the times I took them there. And Well, one is my nephew. And they the bottom picture on the right, I had them to sit on these steps, and I told them, smile. And I took the picture, and none are smiling. None are actually even looking at the camera. And I said, none of you smiled. And Ricky, he's the one in front. That's my nephew. He said, I did. Well, if you get a chance to look in the close-ups, I'm not sure if any of them has his face. Surely it does, though. It does not look like a smile. But, yeah, they all are just doing their own thing. And then the top one on the right, they are walking in front of me. And Ricky's on a cell phone. It's just a little plastic one, but he's just talking away. And I posted it on Facebook and tagged his mom and told her that, uh, like, mother, like, son. And she said, it's just a toy. <laughs> and I thought, like, she thought I was saying he was too young to have a cell phone or something. I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, I thought it was just too cute. And, of course, the other one I mentioned earlier, they are at a cave. And, uh, yeah, it, it it just seemed like it'd be perfect to sit in, like, a shadow box kind of thing. So, the other paper I had, it was, well, I had a camouflage one first. And then I had a floral one. And then I ended up with this metal texture one. And the, I don't think I mentioned that the die well i mentioned it in the original video <laughs> the, the die that has all the greenery except one leaf which i don't use anyway is it's tim holtz i believe and it's garden green garden greenery garden greenery that's what it is and then those flowers i was looking for something else and found like three packages of prima flowers and I thought, well, I need to try to use them on the layout. They're dated 2010. I knew I had them a long time, but, you know, 2010. So I am using two on here. It matches a couple of the shirts in the photos. Well, one anyway. Well, it depends on which picture you look at. It, 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 it really does. I guess the lighting's different in different ones. But, um... I'm going to go ahead and cut some tiny ones out before I get done with all this. And you know me, I'm going to keep adding. Although I was working on the bottom right to start with, I moved up and then now I'm back. I'm going to move back and forth a couple more times. Um, but while I'm doing that, I want to mention that down there below are the links to everybody else that are doing Christy's Beautiful Life 30 Days of Sketches. Oh, I show in the package for the little flower I'm using, and it's a Sizzix one. Anyway, make sure you check out all those links down there below. Lots of inspiration. And, of course, check out the Facebook group. I mean, you just would not believe how many takes on each one of the sketches there are in there. And you can post yours underneath the photo of whatever sketch that you have done a layout for. Christy's done a wonderful job organizing all this, including the Facebook group. So instead of posting them on a regular feed, you post them in the album with that 
sketch and that way it's easier for everyone to find and it's not all jumbled up. But if you saw the little punch I had, well, it's over there on the right, that purple one. It's a 1 8 inch punch and the flower had like a hole in the center and it's barely big enough to cover it up, but it did. So I made them cream colored to go, well, the Prima ones has a cream colored center that's like little pollen stainless looking things maybe stainless looking things and you probably see me crinkling up the flowers they were in that packaging a long time they were probably a little bit on the flat side to start with but they were really on the flat side so i kind of crinkled all the little petals up so they wouldn't be quite so flat and while i was down there doing that one little cluster at the bottom I kept thinking, man, that just don't look like it's going out far enough on the top. I didn't want it to go all the way across, so I stopped. I started to go farther to start with, and I thought, no, I don't want to go too far. But then I decided that just wasn't quite far enough, so I'm adding just a little bit more. If I sat there long enough, no telling how much I would have added. But I got to thinking I liked a little bit coming out from underneath the shadow box thing. So I'm adding a few more leaves for them to come out from the edge. And then that's it. That's my layout. Wasn't that quick with half of it gone? Oh, and I did frame my shadow box thing with black and to go with my film strip and my title. And that's all I think that I did that I haven't mentioned, I think. And there's that Prima flower. It is pretty, especially once you scrunch it up just a little bit and don't have it quite so flat. And did you see the look on Ricky's face? I told you it was there. And there's Discover Adventure at Big Spring. And the G is kind of on the covered up side and I noticed it after I got done. And I thought I can either clip out a leaf <laughs> and it look kind of on the funny side or just leave it because I'm sure everybody in my family will know what that G is that it is a G and it is big spring but uh, yeah that uh, there's the kids in the cave and well the boys anyway and uh, yeah I just thought it's I gotta do it this way so yeah that's why such a big photo but you know I like it <laughs> I hadn't done a big big photo uh, layout in a while but if you leave a comment down there below I'll try to get back with you and if you like the video and hit a thumbs up I'd appreciate it and if you are not subscribed to my channel I would love to have you subscribe and those of you already are thank you so much but uh I hope you all try this sketch since this one is mine <laughs> well, I hope you try them all <laughs> but uh, have a happy scrappy week. Have fun on the hop and making the sketches. Well, the layouts from the sketches. Bye.